Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, Microsoft has rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build to the dev channels for this week, Build 25290, which was made available on the 1st of February, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, um, once again, um, we get a couple of new features, which is quite common in the dev channel, and then we get those all important bug fixes that do roll out every week. Uh, because it is early days and obviously there are a couple of issues to resolve in these early preview builds. Now um, this week we get a couple of new features and just to jump straight into that, um, the first is a new um, Spotify and phone link widget um, and widgets that are rolling out to the widget board. Now last week as I did post on, Microsoft rolled out their first third party widget um, for the Dev Channel Insiders which was the Messenger Apps uh, widget. Now this week, as we can see from the screenshot provided from the release notes, we get uh, the Spotify and phone link widgets. And to open the widgets board and navigate to the widgets picker, you do that by clicking on the little plus button in the top right of the widgets board. And then you can pin your widgets uh, to the widget board. So Microsoft intent now to get those third party uh, widgets now uh, into the operating system. And obviously those are now undergoing their first testing. Some of those are undergoing their first testing now in the dev channel. Now, um, the next uh, new feature, if we head to the next screenshot, um, when I did post on this originally, um, it rolled out with Dev Channel Build 25227 last year. And basically, uh, it's badging um, on your user profile that makes suggestions and um, that suggestions for actions that you can take in the operating system. And when this did first roll out, it did cause a lot of debate and controversy because a lot of users said that Microsoft was using this to push their products to Windows users and basically some called it ads. Now just to go through this quickly, um, the first uh, example on the left uh, is a simple suggestion for backing up your files using obviously Microsoft OneDrive. And then the example on the right um, comes with um, some descriptions so yeah we can see there's a brief description for backing up your files and then some additional options like start backup and remind me later so that's a bit of badging now that they're baking into that profile picture menu for the start menu in that latest dev channel inside a build now those are the two official new features and then once again which is quite common uh, in the early preview builds in the dev channel we get another hidden feature which is a feature that microsoft could be working on internally and once again this was spotted by the windows enthusiast phantom ocean 3 who posted um this over on twitter and it's a new hidden feature that lets you drag a tab in the file explorer out of one window to open it in its own new window now, currently in the stable version of Windows 11 um, with the tab support in the File Explorer, you are not able to drag a tab out and it will not at this stage open in its own window. That hasn't made it to the stable version yet. But um, just to give you a good idea as to what to expect if and when that does roll out to the stable version, if I just head to the Notepad app, which is a preview version of Notepad, I did download a couple of weeks ago, which I did post on, which brings tab support now to the notepad. Just to demonstrate, if I drag that tab out, you can see it opens a new window. So that's more or less what we can expect for the File Explorer, which is currently being tested uh, in the latest Dev Channel build. So you can now um, drag a tab in the Dev Channel build out of the File Explorer, and that will now open its own new window. So that will be a handy new feature if and when that does roll out to the stable version. And that's the latest hidden feature spotted in this latest dev channel build. And then if we just head over to the release notes for build 25290, um, last week um, the dev channel build didn't roll out to ARM64 devices because there was a bit of a bug. But Microsoft says that has been fixed. And then we've gone through the Spotify and phone link widgets and that badging for the start menu. And then as always, because it is early days, the dev channel will get a whole lot of different bug fixes for different components of the operating system. And then um, we get a whole lot of known issues that have also been, um, Microsoft has also made uh, and brought attention to because um, it is early days and because it is um, still very early preview versions um, it, there will be a lot of known issues in the operating system as many of you will know but I'll leave these release notes down below just to give you a little bit more info if that would be of help and that would be of interest so build 25 
the latest Windows 11 Dev Channel Insider build now available. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.